It's when your enemy puts you on death ground, which means they're going to kill you. And therefore, you have no choice but to fight. Because if you don't fight, you're dead. And even if you fight, your odds are poor, but at least that's the only way you're going to get out. The Ukrainians initially welcomed the, the Germans. Why? Because Stalin and friends had imposed the uh, terrible famine of the early 1930s on them. And they couldn't imagine that anything would be worse than that until they met Nazis who then had them dig their own mass graves. And if you do this to people, you will conjure a formidable enemy. So that's what happened to Russia. You can see it happening to Ukraine now before your eyes. Go back uh, before the invasion of Crimea in 2014. You've got Ukraine, which has very corrupt government. And people were at sixes and sevens about whether they want to do Ukrainian things or Russian things. OK. Fast forward to now, where you have Russians blowing away the people who were most loyal to them in the eastern part of the country who didn't leave. Their apartment buildings are being leveled by Russians. And our irony is Putin's forging Ukrainian national identity. And wars often do this. In the United States, uh, we start out with our 13 colonies, and they're all very different. And after the Revolutionary War, that starts forging a national identity. And by the time you get to the end of the Civil War, where you have northern armies, or at least those people have been all over the country, they have a real sense of nation by the end of that one.